HTML5 Tutorials Advanced Concepts Sectioning Content Outline Algorithm Document Object Model Let's quickly dive in and understand why these concepts are important. Each HTML document follows the Document Object Model, also known as DOM. Let's press on F12 on our keyboard when we're visiting a particular web page, whether it is a YouTube channel, whether it is a blog, it doesn't really matter. Because this doc type, document type, is HTML5. And then let's imagine a tree. I think of document object model like a tree. Then each branch that goes out from that tree can be thought of as an object. Now, looking at this from w3.org, this is graphical representation of the DOM of an example of a table. So therefore, if we think of HTML table as an object, then it can branch out to have you know, different nodes, so to speak. But at the highest level, we have the doc type HTML. So you can then think of branching everything out from your HTML document. That's why the previous video session, we've looked at content types. Because we need to be able to section certain parts of our web pages so that we take better advantage of HTML5. And for us to do that properly, we need to understand sectioning content, which we will cover in a couple of minutes now. There is also many extensions for browsers for you to check the outline of a document. To simplify it, let me upload a sample file, which is an HTML5 document, and let this tool outline the, the, the content. Now, I'll also show you that sample file, which is this one. So if this is our typical web page, we'll have our nav section, we'll have our content section perhaps, we'll have articles, we'll have headers, we'll have footers, nav menus, all that stuff. But the outline of that is this. Make sense? So then you have to think of you know, presenting headings properly, you have to think of you know, grouping things in a logical manner. Right, so always remember the importance of that because HTML5 gives us the option to create semantically meaningful web pages. I've created this illustration to walk you through these concepts and how you can use them. Let's imagine what we're seeing is our typical web page, which is our HTML document. Then, we can have sections if we want, right? We can put anything that we want on our web pages. So, before we actually put things on our web pages, it's smart to consider what it is that we're presenting and how that content we're presenting relate to one another. So, if the top section is the header section, then we can have nav elements. If we want right so that's the usual use case scenario for most websites then we have our content whereby we can group it and call it section within that section we can also have an article but we need to remember that even the article is sectioning content makes sense so if I want to you know section let's imagine textual content that may be reasoned as a blog post or an article, then I can use the article section. It's still a section, but it belongs to main section that is using the section element. Then within that one section, I can have perhaps a side that also belongs to that section. So now I have just sectioned one part and then branch there different content according 
to the main section. That is very important to understand as to how we meant to use these elements, HTML5 elements. If we want, we can have many different sections. And within sections, we can also have header elements as well. Now, semantically, the outline model then tells us, OK, sectioning and headings are very important for that web document to become meaningful. So therefore, if this entire document is our body element, then body element can have heading one. Sections can have heading one, heading two. A site can ha have heading one, heading two, heading three, and so on. But for the standards tells us to include these headings because then the outline of the document is more meaningful. Makes sense? So the first heading becomes our important heading then our sections can have headings as well and then they can then branch out so think of the outline algorithm along these lines you're outlining your content in a semantically meaningful way now surely these are advanced concepts and will require you to further learn as to how you can create better html5 documents but nonetheless, to really understand HTML5, it's better to understand the core concepts so that you can build upon it. Instead of building just web pages in HTML5, using the new tags without truly creating that perfectly meaningful web pages. So once again, the way that you're presenting your content, whether it's the header section, as in the header element, the navs, navigation menus, the sections and how they should be, you know, grouped together. And you can have many different sections grouping many different things together. But this is how you meant to use it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.